So I'm over here at my uh, cousin's house. Uh, he had these uh, he had these old wheels he wanted me to replace for him. He has a Husqvarna HU700F uh, self-propelled front-wheel drive uh, mower. And so I got these new, uh, new wheels on there for him. It, uh, wheels only took me like um, three minutes to put on, on a 916 bolt. But uh, he told me that this assembly here was so loose, like this wheel was like pointed this way, that way, outwards, whatever. It was just loose. You could take your hand and just move it around, you know. So I lifted it up on its side, um, and uh, he was missing one of the spacers that go in between there. Like it just fell off or something like that. And so it was just like loose and wobbly. And so uh, I didn't, obviously I didn't have a spacer, you know, but I had my, uh, brought my uh, bin of screws and washers and basically I took like uh, one of these things, right, and I grinded it off on the side just so I can slip it in there. So once I slipped it in there, banged it in there, it was moving around as you tried to move the height adjuster, you know, it moves around. So I welded it and uh, so now it stays in place. So now it's good. It goes straight. Doesn't wobble. Height adjusters still work. And it's a good thing he also has a Harbor Freight Tools welder. Came in handy. He doesn't have many tools though. I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find screwdrivers. Couldn't find a hammer. Couldn't find wrenches. I mean, he told me he had tools, so I just brought my small things. I couldn't uh, find any of his tools, but I may do. So I just fixed my cousin's Husqvarna. Remember guys, it's Husqvarna, not Huskaverna, like I hear a lot of people say. Don't sound uneducated, man. It's Huskvarna. There's no ah in between the Q and the V, okay? Anyway, that was a quick thing. Off to my mom's. Hey guys, it's Henry at Mowers and Blowers again. It's nighttime on a Friday night. My uh, Magneto came for my Snow Commander, but uh, it's nighttime now and I've got a busy day tomorrow. So uh, I'll get to this when I get to it. My uh, ignition switch came. So I'll be uh, working on this too, getting this baby started. But my priority right now is my new touchscreen radio MP3 player, video player, DVR, whatever the hell. It's got like thousands of things with it. Oh, here we go. It's a 7-inch TFT HD touchscreen radio MP5 rear view function thingamajig. So uh, if you read this, it says touchscreen control, TFT MS card, clock, remote control, FM radio. I guess that means it had, doesn't have AM radio. MP5 stereo music, which is spelled Muisk. <laughs> Mirror link. Remote control, and it's got all these functions. All right. Uh, it's obviously from China, you know, and it doesn't have much of an amplifier. Look how thin it is, you know what I'm saying? But, uh,. This is a double din size, and it should fit in my van. Why am I getting this in my van? Because my radio doesn't work. I, I bought a new antenna for that radio. I stuck it in, and then it worked for like a day, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. So I think the head unit's gone. So I decided to buy myself a nice touch screen, and I also bought the uh, rear view camera attachment to it, which it connects onto one of these wires. And I bought this, uh, this is called a... Uh, a wiring harness for the radio. So this is made for a Ford E350 harness. So basically I just spent the past uh, half hour or so connecting, you know, it's easy, you know, yellow to yellow, whatever, pink to pink, all that stuff. Uh, right rear, left front, positive, negative wires. I just connected it all that. Okay. So essentially 
The only thing that I haven't connected is these wires. Um, this is for a uh, parking. The one's for a brake. There is one for a reverse backup camera, which right here, see, that says reverse. It says reverse, and uh, I'm going to be using this to attach to the camera, as well as backup camera video in here. My antenna plug, which I already have installed there. And so, you know, right now, basically, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see it work. I'm just going to go in there, pull the old radio out, plug this into that harness, plug the antenna wire in there, and hope I get some tunes, you know? Then wait for my backup camera and plug that in later, you know, install it. So I'd like to do that now. And, uh... I guess I'll mess with the ignition switch tomorrow or the next day when I have time. And I also have to put in the magneto for the snow commander. So those are on my next list of things to do. And uh, yes, I'll be doing individual videos on that. But right now I'll be doing a video on how to install a double DIN touchscreen radio MP5 player that has the capability of having a backup camera monitor. And uh, okay, so... I'm going to have a nice touchscreen radio in my van now, okay? Guess how much this double-din touchscreen radio is? You'll never guess, because I couldn't believe it myself. $48. That's right, 48 bucks. That's it. Not 400 not 500 not 300 not even 200 not even 100 Not even 50 bucks. 48 bucks on eBay. Yes, it's probably pretty cheap and all that stuff, but we'll find out. Hey, as long as I got a radio for my van, man, with a backup camera, is that not worth 50 bucks? Totally, man. Anyway, I'm going to go in the van now and uh, work it out. So I'm in my van now. Like I said, it is dark. <laughs> my my uh, dash cam is always on. I guess I could turn on the damn lights. That would help. I got a switch now. Ooh, look at that. Nice and bright. Watch, my battery's gonna die. I know it. Anyway, so look, uh, to, you know what? I have, a, I have a light right here. So, this is the stock radio for the Ford E350 Econoline van. And to remove it, you have to get this special tool where it's a loop thing where you push in, push in, push in, push in. Well, I didn't want to get the tool just to remove it, so I shoved four nails in there just to disengage the clamp, I guess, you know? I had it out before, but I'm going to try to yank it. Okay, here we go. I just yanked it out of there. It basically has the antenna wire and this harness. I'm just going to pull the harness out and connect it to the back of that. So actually I was making fun of how thin this was, right? Well, look at the stock radio. It's also thin. It's actually smaller looking. Gee, I hope this fits. Anyway, so all that's left is this Ford wiring harness and the antenna cable. The antenna cable is attached to that it's a uh, shark fin but I put it on the inside so I'm just gonna connect it so I just connected it and uh, I'm going to uh, turn the key on have to try to figure out how to... Whoa! Oh, it's not really stopping on anything, you know? Should be stopping.
Now I know 98.7 is a station. I don't hear anything. I'm getting like terrible reception. Absolutely terrible. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm starting to get some good music now. Better reception. I think uh, I have to ground it or something because every time I touch it, it's clearer. See? But then I touch it and it's better. There you go, see? It lights up. So I think I'd have to touch metal or something. You know, I'm gonna set this. So I've got the radio going on. It's pretty cool. It doesn't really fit though. I have to do some filing down on the uh, on the frame for it to fit. See, it has those things there, stops it. So I'll have to do this tomorrow because I'm not going to file in the middle of the night, you know. But uh, it's pretty cool, man. Look at that. Still not very clear. It's not getting good reception. Anyway, guys, like I said, man, um, it has other functions. I just haven't, you know, worked it out yet, you know. It also has a remote control. And um, like I said, I'm, I ordered a backup camera that I attached to the rear license plate frame and then attached the wires to this so that whenever I put it in the reverse, I'll be able to see the back. And uh, that's pretty cool. Um, in the box, it also comes with a remote control. I haven't figured that out yet either. I'll figure it out tomorrow. But, uh, you know, touchscreen radio, man, 50 bucks. I don't know. I think that's a pretty damn good deal. Uh, once I figure out all the other um, options it has, you know, I think it has Bluetooth and phone connection and, like I said, the backup camera. You can put uh, videos on an SD card in here and watch them, I guess. But uh, it's very cool, man. Anyway, so uh, it was easy to install. You just got to get the harness for your car, attach the wires together, you know, stick it in there, man. Very easy. It was very easy to install. So easy I did it in the middle of the night, you know. Anyway, that's how you install a cheap Chinese touchscreen radio MP3 5 player video backup camera thing for 50 bucks. Very cheap. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. I need to get a better antenna, man. I'm not getting good reception on this damn radio. The radio's pretty cool for $48. Just wait until I get that backup camera.